There's the 8300 John Deere. Like they had something mounted here. That duel's on her. I don't know if that. Oh, just looking. My dad's interested in this tractor, and, and he. Uh, so I'm just gonna send him a video of it. And okay. Kelly Noller. Scott Gilmer. Scott, good to meet you, Scott. What do you know about the tractor? Traded for it um, a couple months ago. I got, do you care if you're on video or? No, I don't care. Okay. Um, I traded for it a couple months ago. Uh, come from a local guy over around Excelsior. Yeah. I don't know where you're from. But... Cameron. Okay. Um, there's a guy who, who had it. He bought the tractor and a baler together. Yeah. Didn't want the tractor. Uh, traded it in on a planter that we had here and um the tractor's got 11,600 hours on it okay it does have a little bit of a noise in the transmission i don't know if it's the transmission i don't know if it's a rear end we can take it down there it's in 12th gear it's got a little bit of a growl it's not bad we can take it down the road and i can show you what i'm talking about yeah um other than that tractor i think's pretty clean tractor uh inside and outside ac uh, work on it it does i can go grab a key if you want to hear it run or we can yeah if you wouldn't mind the road and i kind of show you that noise or whatever yeah. a little bit let me grab a key and i'll be right back. that'd be great now there's real weights front end so you're gonna go grab a key we're gonna go for a little test drive so it's got a grinding 12th gear so all right we'll see i don't know what that is right here some kind of hookups or something looks like they got a little close with a step onto something there all right door opens good <clears throat> These look like I'm in pretty good shape. <clears throat> Passenger seat. I have no idea what the new ones are do or for here. butt goes clear down to the bottom. I don't know if that seat comes up whenever you start the tractor. That's in it. Electronic tuning. So we'll see. He's on his way back. Room? Yep. Doing good. Everything's opposite of where I'm supposed to be. So. Okay. This is your throttle. Oh, okay. Yeah. You got three electric remotes here for your. What's the wires here that's on the floor? Uh, that will be for. He's had it hooked up to a planter monitor and stuff. Oh, okay. So that's all power 
to, to, to a planner monitor. That's what he wants yeah. before I know because yeah. he's got one of those big ass. PTO here. is here. And uh, a lot of these controls here be for your draft and stuff like that, which you would never, uh -huh. never, never use. That's your three point just to raise the board. Oh, okay. Yeah, going down, going up. Okay. Your lights are here. Okay. For your work lights and that type of stuff. The radio, of course, is up there. So, we'll let her wake cool, up a little bit. Cool up a little bit. Okay. Maybe it does have cool air around there. Oh, I can feel her, yeah. And the parking brake is right here. So we'll That's your parking brake? Yep. Where'd you say you were from? Uh, yeah. He's from uh, okay. uh He says that they can't find any tractors like this in that area. Okay. So he found it online. Yeah. Uh, To get your gears, so right now we're in fifth. Uh huh. Right? I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah. So we just. I always say you kind of bump it back right. and down, and yep. yeah, I can get both shots so in. Right there. Here. Second. There. So it just kind of it's in neutral basically, and then you just kind of tap it right. forward and yep. it shifts. Yep. I got gotcha. you. So. Okay. What happened to the good old days where you put it in the gear and you went? No kidding. Them days are gone. <laughs> Them days is gone. Them days is gone, huh? Now this doesn't have the old satellite stuff that they talk about, none of that on no, it? No, uh -uh. No. Okay. I, I never did quite understand I that. I think you can put it on there from up there. Is that what that clip is right there? The cable and, and all that. Just, I see. If a guy wanted to. What's that cost to install satellite on it? It's pretty expensive. Huh. I see. So how many gears does it got it, that it goes up to? Is that the 12 or? I believe so. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get out here. We'll... So what's your Roman numerals across there? That's for your remotes. And I don't know how all that's set. The flow and stuff, you know? Yeah. Okay. Remotes being... What? Yeah, hydraulic remotes. Oh, okay, you're clear now. Horsepower does this have? I believe it's 150. 150? And what's the PTO? I'll have to look at it. You'd have to look? Yeah. Who? That bouncing is, we've got a low tire is what that is. Oh, low tire? A little bit of a growl. I heard that. So what's it gonna take to fix that? I don't know what it is. We've had our mechanics look at it. Of course we're not a John Deere mechanic. We had a John Deere mechanic look at it yesterday. Yeah. And he said he didn't think there was much wrong with it. I don't know. Tractor sales as is. As is? Yeah. I seen you had the uh on the site there, I think it was 44,000 is what you had it yes. at. Uh -huh. Is there much uh, wiggle room in there? 
Yeah, I'd work with you a little bit on that. A little bit on that? Okay. Okay. Well, I agree. Yeah, inside dual means we hear it in, so. Yeah, all right. Was that something that she's got a slow leak on her that you guys would have fixed? I would fixed? Say, yeah, I mean, uh, I, it might just be low on the air. I don't know what it, what's caused to have or whatever. Okay, all right. Yeah, on an outright deal, you know, we just have to look at it and see. Okay. Are you looking to finance or what's, you know, what he's doing or what? I don't know if he's going to pay cash or... Right, yeah. I, I, I don't know. He just, he found it. He said, hey, that's close to you. I said, well, yeah. Yeah. So he said, run, take a look at it. And so I said, all right. And uh, he said, uh, of course, me looking at it nowadays is, right. you know, not going to help much. Now, you put me in that red stuff, and I could look at her. and good Yeah, but this green stuff's not my cup of tea. And Yeah, it's not really mine. But of course, the IH is gone. I think the tractor's in pretty decent shape. I mean, it's been taken care of. To, you know, I mean, it does have that noise in it, and I don't know. Uh, we've changed the hydraulic filter and all it, hydraulic oil. Yeah. Um, and nothing changed it no, then? No, and it was clean. I mean, there was no metal shavings or anything in it. Um, what about uh, maintenance and stuff like that? Did did he bring it in to have it maintained he, somewhere? He or? didn't have it. I think he had it a year and a half or so. And he had so many other tractors. He, will, he wasn't using it. Oh, um, so to justify. the main reason of him buying it is he bought it um, for the baler. It had a baler on it, big square baler, and that's the reason him buying it. Hmm. I see. Oh. Well, okay. So if they were to work out a deal that. I mean, say within the first year, something went out on that transmission. Yeah, it's. Would it be any you kind know, of. I, mean, I, don't not, I don't have any kind of warning. No warning on the under that for a year. Yeah. Okay. No, all right. I, on used tractors, it doesn't matter if it's deer or what it is. We just don't have a, any kind of warranty. Gotcha. On a new tractor, it's uh, two years or 2,000 hours. Two years, but two thousand. On new stuff, on new stuff, we don't uh, we'll have more to. Yeah. No. Um, oh, me and my wife, we did that uh, metal detecting that lot there. We got permission. You did what? The metal detecting oh, the okay. lot where the combines are. Huh? Yeah, and uh, that's uh, that's how you know I knew where to go, and plus. Uh, Early's, uh, he's on my uh, Facebook page, and my. Uh, I've also got the uh, Metal Detectors of America Facebook page, okay. and, and uh, we Did found you ever all. Find anything over there? Nothing worth. Nothing worth, you know, huh. bragging about or showing. Right. You know, just found some old, old parts that, uh, yeah. you know, that they would have had back in the day that, you know. So is there any kind of safety standards that tractors are supposed to have today that this thing has and all that stuff? As far as? I, hell, I don't know that, yeah. I mean, it's all changed so much since right. I've been in it that, uh -huh. you know, safety standards back when, when I was a kid in, you know, right. the 80s. Well, I mean, you got, you know, more cabs and, uh, you know, stuff like that, but I mean. Yeah. I just didn't know if they changed all that to make it all safer, friendlier, or that kind of, you know. Yeah. The four-wheel drive, is that assist or is that all time? Or? No, it's assist. Yes. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And that's it, Like huh? I said, the only thing I know is that little bit of a growl in the transmission. I don't know if you could hear that. Yeah, yeah I heard that. Not, but, um, I, and I have no idea what it is. Don't have any idea. Yeah. But well, I know the mechanic drove it, and uh, he couldn't figure out what it was. Yeah. Um, he said, "I." He goes, "I don't think it's something that I would worry about." But that's mm -hmm. kind of how that is. Yeah. All right.
Well, Scott, thank you. It's nice you meeting you. I appreciate it. Thanks, there. That's good, my... Let's get her done.